there's a number of deployments with a lot of the super majors. And I was just wondering, can you maybe speak to how have some of those uh, opportunities transpired? Because obviously there's going to be a long opportunity to have some conversations mm -hmm. with a lot of different groups. And then you're going to get hopefully an opportunity to maybe uh, test and prove out the technology. And then there's an opportunity, uh, you know, when, when I'm assuming that a lot of these are very positive to move through and create some of those deployments. And when you're working with some of the, the, the companies of this kind of scale, uh, that is a big deal. And that probably uh, causes some challenges to be able to, to deploy at that level. Can you maybe talk a little bit about that? Yeah. I mean, so when you look at some of these companies, um, you know, we treat, whether they're big or small, we treat them all the same. Yeah. Um, each one of them has their own unique set of challenges. And so, you know, that's one thing that I've always pushed and Brett and everybody else is it doesn't matter how big or how small, you're still going to get the same level of service. Yep. Um, although they may be slightly varying in the departments we have to speak to. Yep. And so when you go to some of the, the majors, the super majors, the bigger companies, they've got, you know, dedicated IT, dedicated, you know, data teams, and you've got your operations teams. And so what we have to do is, is we don't just meet with the operational group. We'll meet with the data group yep. and make sure that we're satisfying any need that they have or where they want the data sent. And then, you know, same with IT. And then the operational group is more of the functionality, right? Yep. It's what what are we paying for and how is this going to benefit my operation? Yep. Because some of them, data is over there. Yep. We'll just let them worry about that. I yep. just want to know how I'm going to make this job great and the next job better. So, okay. So uh, how do you answer some of those questions? So um, how is that mm -hmm. going to make their life better? So let's maybe talk on an operational standpoint. Yep. Uh, what's the conversation uh, in that situation? So a lot of it is, is, you know, initially finding out how they currently run their run their jobs, right? Where are their pain points? Like, are they, you know, having pain points and visibility from the field? Because that's, you know, the low-hanging fruit, right? Yep. The real-time monitoring, real-time views, stuff like that. Yep. Um, and then, and then you know, what what are they wanting to glean from the data that's at their fingertips right away? Yep. From, from within our dashboard. And walking them through the different use cases where we've had, you know, whether it's the, the frack tree monitoring and able to view the, the valves in real time. Um, whether it's on site or whether they're remote yeah, and, and going through and just really trying to find out because when you start talking to these guys, generally um, almost a hundred percent of the time, they've got pain points that they have that have not been fixed yet. Mm -hmm. And so what we want to do is come in and as a partner and a trusted partner is figure out how to make their, their life easier. Yep. And, and some of that could be like, you know, we've got pad in your pocket, our mobile app, you know, being able to free them up to be able to go out and maybe go to a kid's football game and still have visibility of their pad. You don't have to be chained to your laptop or your desktop yep. or something like that. In case you get that phone call, you got to be able to, uh, to to see it. To quickly triage and just yeah. take a look and be like, okay, I know what's going on. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of guys before had to, you know, cart a laptop with them. Yep. Um, and, it, <clears throat> you know, the ability to have this at your fingertips in real time, that's a, like a pain point that it's a convenience pain point, right? It's something they just lived with. Yep. Um, and it's like, uh, and then they start using it and it's, and it's like, man, that really resolved this kind of like issue that I had of just being able to untether Yep. and actually, you know, be there for my kids or be there for my wife yep. um, or husband, whatever the case may be. Yep. Um, the, you know, that's one pain point is just the ease of use. <clears throat> the other is they start getting more involved in it. And I've got customers, um, big or small that, you know, it's up on their monitors, you know, when they're in the office 24 seven. Yep. And they're able to just quickly look and assess, um, or if they're walking down the hallway, being able to, you know, explain to their bosses where we're at on the frack. So it probably then, I guess, being able to make sure that this data is available and it's available uh, on site, it's available uh, downtown somewhere, wherever they're located. Um, it probably really does speed up a lot of uh, communication, uh, real time updates of what's actually going on in the job. Um, how does it help on just the general uh, optimizing, uh, optimizing a job at the end of the day? Yep. Well, you know, so when you start looking at it, you can actually notice trends before they become a trend. Like typically how it used to be, if you were having, you know, pump issues, it was like, okay, this is one day issue. And then all of a sudden the next day, it's a pump issue. The next day, it's the next day. And then you're like, okay, crap, we've got an issue. We've got to have this solved. <clears throat> and that's a phone call to the, to the, their frack service provider. We've got pump issues. Yep. And now what you're able to see is because you're able to monitor it remotely. You're, you're not just your guys in the field. Aren't the only ones that are noticing a problem. You are also able to be on top of it and be like, okay, we've had two stages where we've lost three pumps um, or we've shut down you know, we're, we're taking two hours between stages instead of the 30 minutes we're supposed to. What's going on out there? And, you know, when you let these lingering problems linger, they become significant problems down the road. And so when you have all this data and you're able to have kind of an a, a above the board conversation with all your partners on site, because that's truly what all the, the, 
the service companies are with the operators now. Yep. It's no longer a vendor, you know, client type relationship. It's more of a partnership because these jobs are becoming so dynamic and, and they have to be. Yeah. And so then you're able to have a much more kind of like above board educated conversation about the problems that you're seeing on site and then how you can help them to kind of resolve those problems before they become much more dynamic. Yep. And so each piece of equipment, whether you're tracking MPT, that's easy to optimize because you're tracking it. You see what's happening. You know how to fix it at that point. Yep. Before it was a little bit of not, not blindly, but you know, your, your company reps on site were relaying some information and you were getting reports post and they'd be in an email. Yep. And you'd have to go and seek out that information. Yep. And now with what we're doing, that information is right at your fingertips whenever you want to see it. Yep. Like whether it's stage reporting, whether it's, you know, the, the real time job, whether it's your, you know, valve monitoring, whether it's watching wireline, whether, whatever it is, it's right there that you can go, I want this answer. I want it now. Yep. Instead of let me go dig through 50 emails from the last three days and compile my report. Way more responsive. <clears throat> Very responsive. We got, you know, some of our clients are, are using our system solely, not solely, but one of the main reasons or one of the big uses of it is being able to compile their morning reports uh, the same way every time. Yep. So a, a standardization. Standardization for what they talk about in their morning ops call <clears throat> before they do their shift change. Yeah. And then in the evening, they're doing the same thing. Yep. It's all it's all just routine at that point. 